everybody, welcome to Wrestling Rampage. I'm Joey. I'm Tommy. And today, we're going to keep doing the WWE 2006 Retrospective Year. Today, WWE Backlash 2006. Yes. This is the DVD review for you guys. April 30th, 2006. It is a Raw brand exclusive pay-per-view only. Sponsored by Tops. Tops. The, car, uh, the card company. Yeah, the card company. Uh, the theme song is... Baby Hates Me by Duncan, uh, 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 Doko, what's his fucking name? Danko, Danko Jones. Danko Jones. Sorry, Danko, your fucking song wasn't that good anyway. No, it wasn't. I just remember because I watched Backlash. Uh, and it is in Wrestling Rampage's backyard, pretty yep. much. Right here in Kentucky at Rupp Arena. In Lexington, Kentucky. In Lexington, Kentucky. Lexington's about, what, two, three hours away yep. from us? Uh, so, I mean, it's, it's not too far, but uh, I haven't really been to Lexington. If we go to a show, it's usually in Louisville. Yeah. Uh, Louisville's only like an hour and a half away from where we live, so. Uh, but, right here in Kentucky. That's right. They had a pay review, and we weren't old enough to go at the time. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't have a job to pay for pay to go, but, it, but, but, but if I did, we would have went. Uh, the heat match was Goldust versus Rob Conway. Yeah. A shitty match. Yeah. And Goldust wins. In the story. The first match on Backlash 2006 is former partners become bitter enemies. Not wrong. <laughs> when Chris Masters takes on Carlito. And as you guys know, WrestleMania 22, they did team up. Yeah. They tried to take on Big Show and Kane. And uh, they came, uh, well, rather short. Yeah. Uh, and just like this is a raw brand pay per view only, mm -hmm. so so no SmackDown, no SmackDown. Uh, so Chris Masters versus Carlito, the match was a shit. It wasn't that great. It, it wasn't was that good of a match. It's a good way to open the show. I I have to admit that. You start out start out with a weak match. Uh, <laughs> well, it did with Goldust. <laughs> well, it wasn't it wasn't because of Carlito. I'm sorry, I was never a Chris Masters fan, or if you watch fucking. GFW, it's uh, Chris Adonis for the people that don't know who I'm yeah. talking about. Oh, yeah. Uh, but Carlito picks up the win with the backstabber. Backstabber. Puts his feet on the rope and beats Chris Masters. Like it should have went over. Yeah. Uh, and, and now we get the pay per view debut. Can I do it? Yes. We get the pay per view debut. Of the Samoan Bulldozer. Ooh, my God! With his manager, Almando Alejandro Estrada. Yeah. Uh, which uh, uh, we knew who he was before he and even he went sucks to as a wrestler. Yeah, uh, he went by Osama in OVW, and uh, he sucked as a wrestler. So, uh, going being a being a manager. Uh, was his thing. Let's yeah. just say that. Uh, as you guys know, um, Flair get, ends up getting attacked by this guy nobody yeah. knew about at the time. Yeah. Right after WrestleMania, the Raw, yeah. as soon as WrestleMania ended, uh, and uh, they said, "Well, we're gonna have a match." Ooh, Maga versus Ric Flair, and Umaga destroyed Ric Flair yes. in minutes. In minutes. In minutes. He beat a, a former 16-time world heavyweight champion. He beat a former 16-time world heavyweight champion, Ric Flair, in a matter of minutes. With the Samoan Spike. The Samoan Spike. One, two, three. Yes. Uh, which was an impressive debut impressive for... Impressive debut for Umaga. Yes. Uh, I have to give it to, the, give it to that. I mean, he, he was way better as Umaga. I'm sorry. I Samoan enjoyed him as Umaga than Jamal. Than Jamal. Yeah. Umaga, he was over like son of a bitch. Um, then we get a WrestleMania 22 rematch yes. for the WWE Women's Championship when Mickey James, who is the new WWE Women's Champion, takes on Trish Stratus. Yes, uh, and, and I'm going to be honest, their WrestleMania 22 match was way better oh, yes. than this one. This one was short as fuck. It was bullshit. It was a shitty ending, okay? Mickey James has a ribbon, okay, and she's choking Trish, and she didn't break it five, and that's the ending of the match. Yeah, disqualification. Disqualification. Mickey keeps the title. 
but Trish wins, but not the title. Yeah, so... The uh, match was kind of shitty. Yeah, the match was shitty. I know that Mickey dropped Trish on the outside, and Trish looks like looked like she hurt her arm. Yeah, she did. Bad. She hurt her arm. And, uh, you know, I'm assuming that's probably why they ended the match early. I'm probably. assuming. But she, yeah, grabbed, she grabs this ribbon that came off her fucking shit that she was wearing, choked Trish, and she didn't break at the five count. That was the end of it. That was it. So Trish Stratus wins by disqualification, but Mickey James is still the WWE Women's Champion. Then we get a great match right here. Uh, winner take all. When the WWE Intercontinental Champion Shelton Benjamin takes on the money in Mr. Money in the Bank, Rob Van Dam. Yes. And if you don't know, watch the top ten best backlash matches. This that match will be on there. Yes. Uh, and I loved how Rob put his own little spin on, on the, the money on uh, the briefcase. On the briefcase, he had an airbrush that said yes. "Mr. Money in the Bank" on I it. I enjoyed that. And this match was really good. I'm talking about it was a ri and see that's the thing. I'd be like, oh, well, main events always good. Not really. Main events are all are, are, are always the, the. I like the undercard world. most of the time. Mm -hmm. You know, and this was an undercard match, but it was a fucking great match. And uh, Shelton Benjamin grabbed the Money in the Bank briefcase, was going to hit Rob with it. Van Daminator on the on with the Money in the Bank briefcase. Rob jumps on the top rope. Five star frog splash. One, two, three. And Rob Van Dam <laughs> keeps the Money in the Bank briefcase, and he's the new Intercontinental Champ. That's right. And now we got uh, now 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 this was another bullshit match. Yeah, this is another bullshit uh, when, shitty match. When Big Show uh, takes on Kane, and they are former WWE World Tag Team Championship yes. uh, champions, and they're former tag champs, and apparently Kane's freaking out about this date, May nineteenth. May nineteenth. You guys remember May nineteenth, don't you? Yeah. Uh, and uh, so Kane, you know, Kane gets all groggy and shit. And, and May 19th. Did you say May 19th? Did you say May 19th? Yeah. Chokes people and fucking everything else. And him and Big Show are having fucking problems and everything else. And it culminates into this match. And if you guys don't know what May 19th is, it was the release date for okay. Kane's... Uh, see WWE, no evil movie. Yeah, see no evil from WWE Films movie, which was that, which actually wasn't that bad. Of yeah, movie. that wasn't actually honest. a bad movie. Uh, and during this match, we get we get a red light that glows. Yeah. And you May nineteen. Yeah. That's all we heard. May nineteen. May nineteen. May nineteen. And the, the cane just go like ah, this. Get out of my Put, head. Yeah, punch in the fucking mat, and, 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 and then and Big Show goes and then buckles. And then Big Show goes here. Let me help you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's with the chair. He's like, let me help you here. He grabs the chair, bashes it over Kane's head. I guess the match ended. In no contest. No, no contest. Because there was that. There was no bell rung. There no bell rung. Nobody, nobody said anything about Big who Big Show won. walks off after the chair yeah. shot. Yeah, I was like, uh, so who won? I guess it's a no <laughs> contest. So we're assuming it was a no contest. Uh, we get oh Tommy oh oh here oh, we go God. here we go. Uh, we're, if you watch the top ten worst backlash matches and you'll see the number one right here. That's right. Uh, now now leading up to this. I enjoy the fucking promo. <laughs> With the vignettes. The of, vignettes. Of Vince. Vince is bringing fish and bread to, to him and Shane. Yeah. Which we all know it was, it was producers throwing yeah. this shit at him. And, and fucking then, Candace Michelle says she got a chest coat. Heal! Heal! <laughs> you know, and, and Vince is like, he's, he's like old God old body. Yeah. <laughs> uh, brother, where are they? Heal this woman! <laughs> Oh my and Amen. Amen. Oh, oh the promo. Going fucking, into the church. Oh, going into the church, spitting the goddamn holy water. <laughs> you know, fucking they fucking drive Shawn Michaels into the fucking announce table and fucking Vince. Hallelujah and Amen. Amen. Now Vince is having a no holds barred tag team match. It's gonna be Vince and Shane. His product of semen. Yep. Vince and Shane versus Shawn Michaels and God and God and God. Now God's entrance was fucking. You know, awesome. Vince and Shane come out. You know, <laughs> Vince and Shane come out and go. And Vince goes, "Let me introduce God." And here comes God. Here comes the light. And then <laughs> fucking Vince. Coming down. Here comes Vince. Come on, God, get jiggy with it. Let's go. <laughs> and then he come on, do the dance. And then Vince, yeah. 
<laughs> Duncan Vince is awesome, okay? That was fucking hilarious. Uh, uh, no, when we got to the match, the match was shit. Uh, uh, you know, Sean comes out, and pretty much the handicap match. Yeah. Know, but, uh, yeah, guy, guy was on the apron. I seen him, you know. <laughs> and then Guy was leaving. Oh, uh, God's left the building. God has left the building. Where are you going, Guy? Uh, you know, Sean Sh Sh does some stage dives yeah. off the stage dives. Yeah. Um, and then here comes, here comes the Spirit Squad out. Now, it was hilarious because they, uh, 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 Shawn Michaels had the 20 foot ladder in yeah. the ring and he hopped off the other side because he had Vince and Shane on the tables. Yeah. And nobody seen the, the spirit, spirit squad. squad at the time, so it looks like he was just jumping off the other side. And then we see the spirit squad tumbling. <laughs> yeah. I was like, God damn, Shawn knew they were coming. So and Shawn. Here, here comes the spirit squad, you know. Uh, they fucking beat up on Michaels to do the goddamn jump thing and fucking puts him through a table. And fucking uh, Vince looks around. Vince looks around. They put Vince on top of him. One, two, three, and Vince and Shane McMahon beat Shawn Michaels and God. Yeah, and then and then uh, 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 like the Spirit Squad had Vince and Shane yeah. on the shoulders, and, and Vince's like, "I beat God." Yeah, <laughs> I beat God. God. I beat God. I was like, "Okay, okay, well, it's kind of getting ridiculous," and then it even gets more ridiculous. Yeah, it does. Uh, when your teacher, Matt Stryker, comes out. Yeah, Matt Stryker. Uh, we have Matt Stryker's classroom. Yes. Um, and uh, dur during this, this classroom session, he makes fun of Kentucky. Yeah. Uh, makes uh, fun of the basketball team. Yeah, yeah makes everything. fun of the basketball team. How, how everybody makes fun of Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah, yeah, the only thing you guys are known for is Kentucky Fried Chicken, which is, which is mainly true. Mainly true, to be honest with you. Th th there ain't shit in this goddamn forsaken fucking state of Kentucky, I'll be honest with you. But, uh, you know, I didn't give a fuck, because I, I'm yeah. not I'm not really from Kentucky. I well, mean, I don't give a fuck. You can make fun of Kentucky all you want to. I don't give a fuck. It's a shitty place to live. Yeah. Don't, don't come here. <laughs> don't come here. Yeah. Um, and, uh, Matt Stryker's like, well, well, we got one of your hometown Kentuckians. Well, I found the smartest man in yeah. Kentucky, Eugene. And here comes Eugene. Yes. And then, then fucking he tells Eugene. Do you goes, know how to write your name? Yeah. Do you know how to write your name? And he goes, write it on the blackboard. Right? And now, fucking Eugene starts writing. And now, fucking, now, when Matt Stryker came out, he wrote his name, he, he wrote his name Matt yeah. Stryker on, yeah. the, on the board. And then fucking he goes, write your name. And all this, he writes his name. Well, he thinks he's writing his name. And fucking, he goes, all right, you're done? Yes. Eugene moves. It says, Matt Stryker loves poop. Poop. <laughs> poop. I don't love poop. Uh, you know, and then uh, then uh, Eugene does kind of something disgusting. Yeah, uh, he digs in his nose. He digs in his nose, and he actually pulls out a booger. Yeah, he was about to eat it, and he's rolling it, and he's about to stick it in his mouth. The bad shark is like, no, 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 don't, don't do this. Yeah, don't do this. And well, uh, Eugene ends up sticking the booger that he just pulled out of his nose in Matt, Matt Strucker's mouth. Yeah, and then does the stunner. Does the stunner, and, and then Eugene leaves. And Eugene leaves, and Matt Strucker ends up leaving after that. Trying to follow. Him. And uh, it was it was a pointless segment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but then we get the main event. The main event of Backlash 2006. It is a triple threat match for the WWE Championship when the champion John Cena. Takes on Triple H and Edge. Yeah. And actually, I ain't gonna lie, this wasn't even that good either. It wasn't that great of a triple threat match. I'm sorry, a lot of people say this was a great triple threat match. And I'm like, well, not to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I just yeah, I just didn't like it. And I like Edge and Triple H. You know, it's just, it's just I don't know, I guess the triple threat match didn't click or something. I don't know. I mean, maybe maybe it had to do with with how Cena won. Yeah. Than it actually did with the whole uh, match. Yeah, like the match was okay. Like I, I'm gonna be honest, it was an okay triple threat match. There wouldn't be but, like a, on a top ten. Yeah, list it wouldn't be on the top ten best triple threat matches I've seen. You know, uh, but, but uh, Cena ends up getting Edge into the FU. Well, in the position for the FU, and, and, and Triple H low blows him, and mm -hmm. and fucking. Cena throws Edge outside with when he was in the FU, and fucking Triple H boots him about the pentagram. Cena 
trips him, rolls him up, one, two, three, and that's how he beats Triple H in Edge. Yeah, and then Triple H ends up grabbing the sledgehammer, the sledgehammer, and hits trip hits John Cena with it. Hits Edge with it. Hits Edge with it, and then he does the suck it to him. <laughs> yeah, does the and then suck he leaves. To him and then leaves. Black WWE logo. That's right. Um, backlash. Honestly, when I'm looking back, the best match was Shelton Benjamin Rob Van Dam. Yeah, that was the best match out of Backlash. Uh, which now that I'm looking at it, I'm glad we. Yeah. You <laughs> didn't go this Backlash. Yeah. Uh, now we do have a few extras on here. McMahon and Shane go go to the church. Yep. On Raw. Um. Triple H post-match interview. Uh, Triple H was bloody as hell oh, during yeah. that match. He was the only one that bled, too. Yeah, he's the only one that bled in that uh, match. Joey Styles and RVD are uh, in the back. Joey Styles and the Spirit Squad on Raw. Joey, Sty uh, Joey Styles and Jerry Lawler physical altercation on Raw. And when Joey Styles quits, which is awesome. Yep. If you got, uh, honestly, if you, if you just want to get it for the Rob Van Dam and Shelton Benjamin and get it for when Joey Styles quits, that's the only thing yeah. that they he's good for. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, I remember when Joey Styles quit, you know, yeah. I'm tired of this damn circus. Uh, he mocks God, he mocks God! Our chairman of this company, <laughs> he mocks God, he mocks God! But, uh, um, uh, Backlash wasn't all that great. Yeah, Backlash 2006, I'm hoping the next pay-per-view will be better. Yes, I'm hoping so, and, uh... You guys will find out when we finish, when we continue to do the 2006 pay-per-view retrospective. So make sure you guys, if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. If you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestlingRampage2. Follow us on Twitter, at WrestleRampage. Hit that subscribe button to one of the best wrestling YouTube channels going today, Wrestling Rampage. Tommy, take it away. If you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess you just don't know wrestling.